Like his manga got taken down due to some licensing issues. Uh, it's been a long, long time coming. F in the chats. R.I.P. Kiss anime. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. get it. I get it. I understand. I don't mean we gotta agree with it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, like I'm like, bro, understanding that yo, artists should definitely be getting paid for their shit. I, I understand it. That's why I can't be too mad. But growing up stealing manga for decades, I'm kind of like, what the fuck? Why, why, why y'all doing this now, though? Like, but it, it was a necessity back then. That's the only difference. Now I'm like, damn, it sucks that we lost all of this. And for like the obscure anime fan, it definitely probably sucks because the selection on both of those sites was huge. So, I mean, they didn't have all only just Viz stuff or only just whatever. So you would have access to a lot of shit that you probably can't get through Crunchyroll mm. Funimation. But as far as like popular series go, like it sucks that you can't get them for free, but also at the same time, you can more you more or less can get them in a free-ish way, meaning like you already have Netflix and they drop the season of some shit you fuck with. The only thing that you have to go out of your way now to get is like Crunchyroll if you're more of a a new age, like if you're more of a, a old head friend who like keeps up to the Japanese sub, but if you're just a nigga who's waiting on Netflix, you didn't even know this shit existed to begin with. Exactly. Like you was like, what? But the crazy thing is, is really a lot of niggas out there, especially on this new wave of anime, of yeah. niggas that are Netflix only and don't even understand. I'm like, nigga, y'all looking at a drying up puddle. It's an ocean out there, nigga. Like, oh, bro, yeah. crazy <laughs> anime. Oh, yeah. I you watch, you friends, started I don't, I don't the life. <laughs> That's lifestyle right there. Facts. I mean, but that's the crazy thing, though. Um, I don't know how how all of y'all got more got deeper into anime and manga or whatever. You know, you are watching something on TV or you or in this age, you are watching something on Netflix, and then suddenly that ends. You want to find more of that specific show, so you go on the internet and try to find some shit, and you end up finding, let's say, for example, um, these illegal sites, and you're like, shit. You get into it, and you get deeper and deeper into the culture of it or whatever, and that's how you essentially um, end up converting yourself into this otaku or whatever. Whoras with the avenues that we have now, they're a lot more restricted. Like with country, country Road, they're talking about, oh, no, nah, nigga, if you want more than these three episodes, you got to pay for it. And you're going to be less inclined to to dive yeah. deeper into that because you ain't trying to pay for that shit. Yeah. That's, the, that's the issue I'm seeing with it. Very I true. mean, I definitely feel you on that. But I also go like, I mean, to me, I guess like, uh, I'm older now, so the way I consume anime is definitely different than I did in high school. Like, what I did in high school was, like, this would be my crux right here because I could binge watch a lot of anime at a very fast pace with, with these sites versus now it's definitely, like, a much slower consumption cycle because you got to wait season for season for it to come out. Like, there's not a whole lot of options as far as, like, once you find the genre you fuck with um, on, like, the, the major platforms right now. Uh, so it definitely sucks from, like I said, an avid fan standpoint. Uh, and I think like in terms of like historical things, like this thing is probably like what the last, I would say the last major one. Cause the first one for me was one manga. When they took that down, that sucked. Only a few people remember one manga, but one manga was great back in the day for, for yeah. yeah. And then they hit manga stream recently, right? That was like a year or two ago. Which was another big one for me, and that then hurt. yeah, and now Kiss Anime Kiss Manga. It's like I'm sure there's still some free sites out there, but as far as the ones where like everyone knew, and like still nothing really happened about it, uh, like this is the last one I think. I can't think of anything bigger than than these two. Yeah, I, I I can't either. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. because, um, I, okay, how do you want to put their names out there? Because shit, niggas might be listening. I mean, is it supposedly like this all started because of just recent stricter, um, you know, licensing laws that like just started? So, I mean, though we're like super sad about Kiss Anime, I mean, this could be like the start of a wave of takedowns in general. So yep. we don't even know like how like how deep and how impactful this is really going to be. So. Unfortunately, this is kind of like the start of like a bad anime community era, you know, so like, it could be bad or good. My my issue with it is from historical business standpoint, usually shit like this is bad because like now that most of the free shit is gone, the businesses have more of a say in control over what this con like 
how they want to produce this content, how they want to give it to us, all of that stuff, which means prices could go up or down, whatever the fuck, it doesn't really matter. But on the good side, they could understand that like a more viable business model is finding a way to give this stuff as free as possible up front and then figuring out how to get a profit later on the back end, whether that's through ads or some other way. But I feel like with the way the anime community is and now that I think it's becoming picked up more on the mainstream and more people are finding Netflix anime and all these animes that they just hop in and get into, like, I think it's going to, we're going to see something better because I think Crunchyroll, honestly, like as an app kind of sucks. Uh, I feel like Blows. this might foster some type of competition as far as creating <laughs> something that really caters to the anime fan as far as being able to consume a lot of content like for a cost effective way and like I don't know, basically replicate what Kiss Anime and Kiss Manga was doing, but mm, I don't know, in a more, I guess, legal way than they were doing before. Sure. No, I mean, that all makes sense. I'm just scared of at least the amount of time that it would take for them to really come up with a system with a library as large as like what Kiss Anime and Kiss Manga had. That's Cause I mean, again, like, I mean, I honestly can't remember like an anime or manga title that I could not find on Kiss Anime or Kiss Manga. And I couldn't say that about literally anything else. Yeah. So I think it affects the, the older ones heavy too. Like, um, it's like the mixtape era. Like it, it feels like we're losing the, that, that era in anime or whatever, because like, what is it? I, not Black Butler, um, Darker Than Black. That was been one that I've always been trying to like find on one of these streaming sites. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, I couldn't find it anywhere. I pretty much had to go the free option to to find something like that. So I feel like for like the older ones, we definitely like if you ain't stocked up before, you probably should try to find a way to stock up now because it's going to be a while before the ones that are less popular but have a strong fan base come back. Right. Yeah. But like the newer ones, like your Naruto's, your Bleach's, like they're not going anywhere. You'll be able to find a way to get them. But like, yeah, that darker and black, like those real one-off hit shows that have a strong fan base, but not strong enough to justify coming to one of these other platforms. Like it's going to be a while before we see those anywhere. Man, I, I blame the fans, man. These new cats, they don't understand. And they just jumped <laughs> in and just flooded this whole, like, I just, uh, it makes me so bad. <laughs> they ruined it for all the vets. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, this is overall going to be positive for um, the majority of uh, manga and anime watchers um, because, like, you got to understand, like, this is going to be kind of like an absurd influx of cash, you know what I'm saying, from advertisement and et cetera, merchandise sales that they previously weren't getting from a whole hemisphere. Like, when I was growing up, I don't know a nigga that actually paid for manga, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, now that niggas got to pay or, or you know, um, kind of, like, pay indirectly through advertisement, like, uh, them niggas going to be getting a lot of money. With money, sometimes that means that you kind of get, um, you know, better material. Um, and then also, I think that's why we're going to start seeing a wave of, like, remember a couple of podcasts ago, we talked about how they were having, going to have, like, a, a open call for manga creators, no matter the race, right? Like, we might get some actual black anime out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so this is I'll fuck with it. This is true because, like, um, the platform like Webtoon has really gave people a platform to even go above and beyond with just manga. Yeah, facts, right? We wouldn't have one One Punch Man without that. Mm -hmm. And then you got um, now you got the new ones that's Tower of God, got a high school, you know, and it, there's more coming. There's definitely more coming. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't argue that these sites were helping the newer things anymore like in my personal opinion like i felt like the new age has already kind of started to take off without and like kiss anime like these free sites weren't really helping me get access to it it was helping me get access to them like maybe on the manga side of things but even then probably not really so i i definitely felt like it was like a our time frame and before that i usually went to these things for like once i started like actually purchasing my content and shit mm -hmm. but yeah. i do like i do think i definitely agree in that i want to see what is going to happen to the community now now that they might be getting some more money from the fact that the the free options are are minimal 
Yeah. You know, I think we all just grew up in the wild, wild west of the internet and not <laughs> getting regulated. Like, like, remember yeah, yeah. when you was a kid, you could pull up a video of a nigga getting murdered on YouTube. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, the internet was wild, nigga. Like, now this shit's starting to get civilized and we like, huh? What? I remember why I could legally pirate niggas work 2007, <laughs> nigga. Like, That's a fact. I'm gonna tell my kids I was an internet pirate. Wow! <laughs> and all he did was LimeWire, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your computers up, bro. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, I mean, all in all, R.I.P. Kiss Anime, Kiss Manga. Um, I'm sure you will be missed by many. Um. But I hope that whoever owns that shit was able to make a lot of money off that business. Because from what I heard, them niggas was making millions. <laughs> from what I heard, them niggas was making millions. So hopefully you was able to eat, feed, feed a couple of families and shit off your your time. <laughs> Man, they could feed mine. <laughs> right? 